So, you know, yeah. we are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland show. We're talking the skin I'm in. Let me, Charlize, let me circle back to you. I think, I think we're, do, am I right, Kim? Charlize yeah. is going to tell us. Okay. Let's talk about the rest of the cast. Cause I jumped around a little bit in the last segment. Alrighty. Um, so the adult actors from the cast are Tracy Turner, who we mentioned, Chuck mm-hmm. Timbers, who mentioned, then also Giovanna Robinson, Amara Williams, Layla Lumson, Brandy Dixon, and then there's that one. It's yeah, all the, Heaven. Heaven, Heaven Brown, um, which they were lovely to play. And then also the rest of the kids were all the ki- most kids from ATC. But then also some that weren't from ATC was John John, who was played by Michael Keyes, um, Michaela Keyes, who also played Char, and Oh, if I run down the whole list, that's going to be a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, and you know what? And the other problem is when we start naming a whole list, you always forget somebody. So we won't name everyone. Um, And before we're done, I also, uh, and I'll come back to you, Charlize, for this, uh, because I think a lot of uh, folks in our audience probably aren't as familiar with the alumni theater company as they should be. And we probably should just uh, bring everybody up to speed on that. Mm -hmm. And Sharon, that's a good way for me to segue to you because you trusted them with your baby. How much did you know about ATC before you handed your baby off? You know what? I used to go to the, um, what was the name of the school? I can't remember now. Urban League? The Urban League Charter School. Uh-huh. Um, they would invite me there for mm-hmm. um, to do talks, but also I don't live that far from there. So I would just show up with piles of books every time, you know, lots of times and give them to the library. So I was familiar oh, with, with ATC from there. Um, and then, you know, I started looking for someone to do my work. And frankly, I got turned down a couple of times. Really? <laughs> Not wow. from them, but other places in the country. Uh-huh. And as soon as I went there, they were like, what? Absolutely. And so Interesting. I'm pretty trusting anyway, but I think they would, do, you know, um, they would do a good job. And mm-hmm. so um, I was, I was right about that. Okay. Students are ready. So that was one thing. Uh-huh. Um, and I think they have a passion for, um, for theater and they have a passion for African-American youth. Um, so in a sense, it was this perfect fit. Right. So it all made sense. Now, this is the weekend, Kim, for folks to see it. How do they see it? Talk us through the logistics of that. Well, um, oh, I can, so you would have to go to a link. Mm-hmm. And we have it on Facebook. Um, and I guess you will be able to type it underneath. We've been showing it. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. And so what, what you want to do is you pick a date. We have three days the 27th, 28th, and 29th, the times are two o'clock and seven o'clock, and you would just pick your time, go to the link, you pay, and you have a three hour window to see the show. Oh, okay, all right, so you can really watch it. Let's say, say, Lynn, you wanna watch it, and you bring some of your friends over to the house, and they can watch it on your TV or on your laptop or whatever, and everybody can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. That's awesome. You can do it at your convenience and the Steelers aren't playing this weekend. So you can take that out of the picture. You can take that out and watch it. There you go. That's perfect. And then Catherine, what is it you hope people walk away with at the end of the, the performance? I hope that people walk away to be able to speak up before it's too late. I want people to like, feel like they have a voice and know that what they say does matter and that they do matter Mm -hmm. as a person. And Charlize, I mentioned that we probably should just kind of give folks a a good education. We got about a minute and a half left. Tell our viewers what ATC is all about. Um, ATC is about just giving Black kids a voice, Black people, but Black kids a voice to express themselves. because usually they usually don't have that place. Uh, I was a part of ATC and that was exactly what it is for me. And working there, I saw that's what it did for the kids. And it's a great place. I love, I love it. It feels like a family. It's, I can't, I can't describe it. Like it's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Your face says it all. (laughs) Believe it or not, your face says it all. Sharon, I'm going to let you have the last word here. Um, This was a, this was your vision. You made it happen. Do you foresee some of your other works coming to the stage now? 
Absolutely. I have another piece that Kim, <laughs> we sort of showcased a little bit a few years ago. So I would love to see that. You know, my goal is I write about children. I write about African-American youth. I want the world to know how fabulous they are and how powerful their stories are. And so uh, writing it as a play just is another vehicle to get that information and that message out. And it goes back to what Kat said in terms of having a voice and being able to speak out. And in, in Pittsburgh to know that you have some incredible young Black actors here. I know we have the adult actors. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not trying to shun them or anything. Right. But the fact that we have some really incredible Black young actors that should be given every opportunity in the world to be on the stage and to be on, on the uh, screen. Uh, so people should be looking at Pittsburgh for some of our young people. And tell their stories. Ladies, you have been amazing. And I hope everyone gets to see it this weekend. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate <laughs> you. And uh, we'll take a commercial break. We'll come back and I'll make sure you have that address where you can get uh, your tickets. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.